And a pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Marlon Bledman. Today, guys, we're going to take a walk around this 2006 Freightliner M2 106 4x4. This one has been on the market for a little bit now. We just got through our shop. We had a ton of work to do on it. We put some new tires on there. And of course, this truck is ready for whatever job it will be used for. So we're going to take a quick look here, guys. For all those just tuning in, this is a 2006 pre-def M2106 4x4 Freightliner. Of course, we got that Freightliner badge. I'm going to pop the hood open. Remember on these trucks, they got two straps on either side of the hood. Please ensure that both straps are undone. And of course, when you finish and you close the hood, make sure they're both done as well. As we open up the hood, what you guys are looking at is the Mercedes 900 MBE. And it's also partner with the Allison five-speed automatic transmission. This unit produces about 330 horsepower and about 850 foot-pounds of torque. There is some wear and tear on this unit, of course. It has been put to work. It is a used vehicle. So you guys will notice a few things in here. But we did run it for our shop and we did the necessary upgrades, fixtures to make this unit ready for our lot. This one does come with dual horns. Also come with a CB radio install. The tires we put on there Yokohama, those are 315-30 R22.5s. As you guys can see, we got some huge fuel tanks on either side. So on this side here, we got 100 gallons on one side. As we come around here, we got access to the batteries. We'll log this up when we're done. We got storage up here, and we got another storage box on the other side. We'll get to that when we... You do have access to the back end of this unit. We got steps up here. This one did have a gooseneck ball installed, but it was out of shape, so we removed it. So if anybody decides to buy this vehicle and they want a gooseneck ball or a fifth wheel hitch, we will give them the option of choosing which route they want to go. You do have dual tires in the back end. Another storage box, like I mentioned. This one is a little bigger than the first one we saw. And of course, you do have access from this end as well to go in and out from the back end. So that's in case you hook up a trailer, I just want to make sure everything is hooked up right. You got access there as well. On this side, we got a smaller tank. This one is 80 gallons. So you have a total of 180 gallons on this truck. This is a basic interior. So once we get inside, you guys will, will realize that. So let's jump inside and kind of go over some of the features here inside. So bear with me one second while I open up those doors. All right, as we open the back seat here, you guys can see all the room. And of course, it does have a back bench. Unlike the conversions, this back bench is straight from Freightliner, so the back bench doesn't fall into a bed. The front seats are air ride, and they are adjustable. This unit only has about 76,000 miles. I'm just gonna turn that on here so we have some air flowing in. 
start up right away. Just gonna turn the volume down. So we do have the Allison five-speed automatic transmission. We got power windows, power locks, heated mirrors, optional switch. This one does come with the engine brake, have a both high and low setting. Engine fan, like we said, it is a four-wheel drive. So you do have that all-wheel drive lock. You have a lower range and a higher range here. And of course you do have a rear differential lock as well. All your AC controls are located down here. You got equipped with a fire extinguisher. You got a Panasonic stereo. This one does not come equipped with a screen, but again, there is enough space here to upgrade your sound system if you decide you want a bigger screen or you want one of those folding screens as well. Again, you could also add a rear view camera if you need one. As we look up top here, we got the Cobra CB radio. All your lights here. Again, we got a door open so you have those lights on, but we do have reading lights on this truck. Storage up here. Nice space over here. This center console is a big storage box as well. So once we open this up, you got tons of room here. This one does come equipped with all its manuals. I mean, for a basic truck with the interior, this truck could do a lot of uh, different jobs in terms of pulling a fifth wheel camper from horse trailers to uh, ranch equipment. This truck, like I said, only have 76,000 miles for 2006. It is a four x four. Yes, it has a basic interior, but the majority of people who have trucks like this use it for work. So if you're looking for a basic truck like this, guys, it is here ready and set to go on this lot. Again, you, you have the choice of choosing your hitch. You could use from a fifth wheel hitch or a good snake ball. So if you guys want any more information about this truck, you can give me a call today at 303. 684-3412. You guys could also text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. You guys could also email me at marlon.blendman at transwest.com. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Feel free to reach out. If you guys want closer pictures, want more information, Carfax, whatever the case may be, I'll be able to get those information to you guys. But in the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in today. Yes, this one has been a very quick video. This is a very simple Freightliner. Again, it does carry the Mercedes 900 and a five-speed automatic transmission. 330 horsepower, 850 foot-pounds of torque is what we reckon or what we uh, found out this engine will produce. So if you guys are interested in this one, there is a link below this video. You can click on that for prices or requests to call you. Or you guys could call me directly with the numbers I provided at, uh, for you. Uh, at the end of this video. So thank you guys for tuning in today. We'll be back with you tomorrow for more videos. Again, I did try to push to get this 112 on the lot on a like, video today, but unfortunately the customer is already on his way and we couldn't present it on this video. So we had to present this 20, uh, 2006 model, but we do have more coming in. We do have another one coming at the end of August-ish uh, for another customer. So hopefully I could bring that to you guys but if you guys are interested in ordering one brand new feel free i'll let you know when the next one is coming in and then we'll go from there but in the meantime thank you guys for tuning in today and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow